Hello Queens and Kings, my name is Tandega Shabangu. Welcome to my channel. If it is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Welcome to today's tutorial. We'll be doing earrings. So these earrings are a request, so we'll be doing those earrings. We're only going to have one part for this tutorial, in and out. <laughs> so what materials we'll be using for this tutorial? We're going to be using our eight knot size check beads. We'll be using our upholstery thread and our needle. So I would suggest that for this um, pattern in particular, you might need a minimum of about two different colors for your beads going up. So from two, three, four different colors. But for this tutorial in particular, we'll only be using three colors. So queens and kings, let's get started. So this is what we'll be doing for this tutorial. I just need to cut the threads off. So this is the necklace we'll be doing for this tutorial. Um, I would suggest that you, the minimum number of colors that you can have, you can start from two different colors and three and going up. So for this earring, we only, we're only using three colors now. So you have your thread and your needle. Just gonna put our needle, our earring to the side. And then we're going to make a knot. I'm just going to make two knots. This is how I make a knot. So these are two knots, one on top of another, right? These are my two knots. These are my, this is my knot, ne? So now we're going to start with the base. You're going to pick up four beads. Ne? Four beads like this. Then you push them to the end. Not really to the end, but at the bottom. So you take your needle and insert your needle into the first two beads that you added here at the end. And you insert your needle facing upwards and then you pull. So you're creating a ladder stitch. Then you go to the next one. Then insert your needle downwards. And then you pick up your two beads. Upwards. Facing downwards and then from downwards facing upwards. I get a one. <laughs> then you pick up another two beads. Downwards facing upwards. And then upwards facing downwards. Then you're going to pick up another two beads. Upwards, facing down. So it's always like you're creating like a loop. You see? It's like you're moving in a circular motion. So now you were up. That means what goes up always comes down. So you pick up another two beads, comes down from the bottom, you move up, upwards. Like this, you pull your thread and then you insert your needle into the other two beads. So you're going to keep doing this until you have uh, nine rows so one two three four five six we currently have six rows this is our seventh row and the eight
and nine. This is nine, eh? So we now have our nine rows. Three, six, nine. Yeah. So now we're going to get started with the next step. So we're going to pick up one blue and one white. Bead. So now we're going to be doing our brick stitch. This the what, what we just recently done was the ladder stitch. Now we're going to focus on our brick stitch. So you pick up one blue and one white and insert it under. Do you see these loops here? Under the bridge, these bridges. So the threads that, that are joining from one bead to another. Insert your needle under that and then you pull. Use your finger just to make sure that they are seated well next to each other then you set your needle into the white bead and then you pull then you pick up one blue bead you insert your needle under the loop and then you pull and then you pick up the white bead needle under the loop, then you pull another white bead, needle under the loop, then you pull another white bead, needle under the loop, and then you pull. And then you're going to pick up one blue bead. Under the loop. Then into the bead. Then you pull. Then you pick up one white bead. Needle. Under the loop. In two the bead and then you pull then you pick up another blue bead another blue bead ne? oh sorry the focus needle under the loop into the bead and then you pull so this was our first row ne? so now we're going to flip our Project. So now we're going to move from this corner to that corner. So now you're going to pick up one orange, one blue, as you can see. Ne? Insert your needle into the first loop. No, insert your needle under the first loop, sorry. Under the first loop. If there's one thing I cannot grasp, but I'm going to work on it are prepositions you high prepositions are a problem when it comes to my grammar but i will i'm going to work on it i'm going to work on it <laughs> i've mastered the the british as accent but not the grammar <laughs> hey, hey, hey my priorities are not set Oh, I picked up one white bead. Then you're going to pick up one powder blue bead. How have you been, queens and kings? I have, I hope you well. Me on my side, I've been busy. I've, ha I've had weddings back to back. We had one wedding. It was my uncle's wedding. Uh, on the the weekend of Heritage Day, so it was twenty. 223 September and then on this weekend 30 30 September was my friend's wedding so you it has been busy but the one that I felt the most was my uncle's wedding because we had to go to Standerton in Pumalanga ne? 
where he stays and we left we arrived there on Thursday and the wedding was Saturday and Sunday so we arrived there on Thursday hey I was so I didn't want to go on Thursday because I didn't want to work <laughs> I didn't want to do manual labor. I wanted to arrive on Friday night. Night. There's this one part that I, I wanted to specifically dodge. You know which part which, which part is that? There's this one task that I specifically wanted to dodge. And it was washing, <laughs> washing the intestines of a cow. So they slaughter a cow. On Saturday, on, on Friday, they go to, because we are the groom's family. So this is the corner. Sorry, now I'm speaking other things. This is the corner. You're going to pick up two orange beads. Pardon. I apologize. I made a mistake. So you pick up one orange and one blue. See this thing of talking while working. So you pick up one orange, one blue. Then insert your needle. Under the loop into the bead and then you pull see <laughs> then you pick up one bead so on friday we, we were the groom's family ne? on friday the groom family will go to the bride's family and then there's a cow assigned for the family you pick up one blue bead so on friday the groom family we go to the bride's family and then we slaughter a cow. When I say we, don't be thinking that me, Tande, is going. <laughs> it's an entire, it's an entourage. Like it's actually the entire community. So there'll be males that will be doing the slaughtering. And then there'll be women who... Be, who will be assigned to wash the um, intestines of the cow and cook and cook it ex at the same time on that day S and then there, there's there are certain there's a certain part of the cow that should not be cooked yeah i think it's half of the cow it should come back, the meat should come back to the groom's side. Yeah, I, I might be explaining this <laughs> wrong, but that's what I saw happening. And then on Saturday, we the groom family, we go to the bride's uh, side of the family, the home, and then we have the wedding. Ne? So it was the entire wedding. They made the, they did their vows. They put on the rings. Shy step. We danced. We had fun. And then, the very same Saturday, on Saturday, let's say afternoon around three. There's another cow now. Now this cow. Okay, let me go back. To, so now queens and kings, you're going to pick up two orange beads ne? on the side two orange beads and then you pick up one blue bead so now it's the grooms chance to come and no it's the bride family's chance to come and slaughter the cow in the groom's homestead right are you following yes <laughs> so on saturday the the bride the bride's family comes to us i get it now we are the grooms we are team groom and they come they slaughter the cow even when they come, they come with their entourage. They come with men. Oh, there's another part I forgot to mention. They also come with um young group of teenagers. I would, let me say teenagers. And they are assigned to sing. 
So while everything is happening, they're singing, they're singing songs. It's it's a nice thing, you know, that's happening. People are dancing, they buy a guitar. So it's nice. So while everything is, is taking place, there are people singing, there's clapping. Jay, it's nice. And the community comes. Yeah. So yeah. So that's what happened. So me, me, me personally, I was dodging the part of of watch washing the <laughs> the intestines. There's nothing wrong. Because I do that, the tribe, I, I do that when I'm here at home. But the entire tribe of a cow, uh, 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 mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so that's why I wanted to arrive late, like Friday late. But no, we ended up leaving on Thursday. We, we traveled on Thursday. It's just a three-hour drive maximum. Then we arrived in Standerton. So it's two orange beads. Set them here. But the wedding was nice. We really enjoyed We had so much fun as the family. It was a really nice wedding. And then I came back on Sunday. Now you're going to pick up one white bead. I came back on Sunday. Yo. After that, now there's no time for resting. Now it's preparing. It's, it's, it's the preparations for the next weekend for my friend. So you see, Wuti, <laughs> it was really hectic for me. It was, I knew it was, it was going to be hectic. Remember that vlog we did of the black and white dress? Yes. So that dress, I was going to wear it to my friend's wedding. So that's why I started early, early, early making the dress. So I made the dress and I put it aside because I knew by the time, uh, by the time it's, when when the when it when it's closer to the day the days let me say the days because both events it's going to be hectic the traveling the preparations but everything went smoothly everything went well yeah okay here is another thing yeah, another part to me as Tande okay. Let me go back to the earrings first. So as you can see, queens and kings, the white triangle is the, it's half of our diamond. Ne? So we've closed it. So what we're going to do now is try to open another diamond. So now the blue lines, you saw, as you can see, the blue lines on the outside, they were heading towards the center. But now what we're going to do is trying to make them point on the outwards outwards ne yes so that will be our main mission moving forward because now we're going to be creating a new diamond this is half of a diamond at the beginning so now we're going to make a full diamond so you're going to start with two orange beads And one blue bead. I'm sorry. One white bead. Then blue bead so here you're going to add two blue beads at the center this is because now you are starting the foundation for a new diamond ne? we are opening up the center and we're closing the sides so this is where we currently are we add this point so as you can see, we're opening up the center so that we can 
accommodate this diamond at the center and then we're closing the side so the oranges on the side they're going to start decreasing as we continue yeah okay so now you're going to pick up one white bead one blue bead and one orange bead one orange bead ne? so now we're going to flip our project going to pick up one orange and one blue bead one orange one blue bead you insert it under Insert your needle under the loop and into your bead. Then one white bead. So remember our aim is to open up the center for our diamond, the new diamond that we are going to introduce. So there's this one thing that is done in our, let me say South African um, black culture mostly, uh, especially when there's, there's an event, whether it's a wedding or whether it's a funeral. The, this, this, the, the, and I don't know how we can stop it. At the same time, we, we can't stop it because it's necessary, but yo, it's a lot of work. And a lot of and a, and a big expense. Okay, this this thing of making tea and cake and cakes. So, for example, because we had a wedding, the neighbors would come to help us with the peeling. So that this is this is the part where I think it's necessary because people are there to help you out, to help the family out with whatever task there is that is mostly dedicated to the preparing of the food of the event right so the neighbors will come the day before uh, they'll be there the afternoon and they'll be there that evening preparing peeling veggies grating carrots chopping onions washing spinach Washing the meat that is supposed to be cooked, and you know all of that. But so you, we as a family, we will provide refreshments just a to as a token of appreciation, just to say thank you. We recognize you. Thank you for supporting us, and this is the little we can offer right now as the family. So you, you'll be. So one, a few family members will be assigned to take care of that part, making sure that everyone who arrives gets either juice and cakes, scones to be, <laughs> to be in scones in particular, or you make them tea and cakes. Next, so it's either juice or tea. And guess who was appointed to do that task? Me, unfortunately, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with the task. Ne? The only thing that is a problem about this is that it never ends. That job never ends. Let me tell you why. So, make let me make an example. So now the white part that we're currently on with the beading, we are doing the diamond. Ne? It's... Let's say the time is quarter to five. The first three neighbors, they arrive. Okay. Tandega, I run back to the house. Queen, queen, queen. I make uh, 25 liters of juice in a bucket. Just so that I prepare myself for it's it's easier. That when I have to get juice, it's easier. It's already mixed. Okay, I prepare. Oh, the three neighbors arrived. Ne? I prepare the three glasses and a plate of cakes. 
and then I put them nicely in the tray and then I go outside to go give the neighbors. As I'm handing the refreshments to the neighbors, Gui, two ladies arrive. Hi, boo. Now I'm going back to the house. I'm going to go now prepare two cups, two glasses of juice and another plate of cakes. Take my tray and I'm walking outside. Queen, queen, queen. Hi, boo. Now there's one lady who I didn't know when this one lady arrived. So now, I'm, now the first three ladies that were drinking the juice and cake, they're now finished. So I'm going to take back the three glasses and the plate, take it back to the house. I have to wash those glasses and now I have to prepare this one glass. Take the one glass and take it to the neighbor. Phew, okay. No one is here yet. <laughs> okay, Queens and Kings. Here, you're going to pick up one blue and one white. You're going to pick up one blue and one white bead. Né? Insert it at the center, under the loop. And into the bead. Then you're going to pick up one blue bead. So, okay, no one, no, there's no new person who arrived. Now I'm relaxing. So I'm in indoors and I'm washing the glasses. Ne? Hi, Bo. Now there's someone coming in. There's a lady coming in. Sorry, Sissy. I can't even my cake. Translation is, sorry, ECC, there are people who haven't received refreshment. Ah! And they ask, okay, Bangag, how many are they? Then they say, there's four ladies sitting over there that you did not see. <gasps> now I have to prepare four classes. Okay, so now this is, we're going to insert an orange diamond inside of the white diamond, ne? So this is, you add your one white bead, and now you're going to add one orange bead. This is the orange that we're introducing. That small diamond at the center, and then white. Now I prepare that, those four glasses, then I take them outside. While I'm outside, taking the four glasses of juice, in the one lady will say to me, no, I don't drink juice for medical issues. Okay, no problem. What can I, how can I help you? Then they say, can I have tea? I get, now I have to go inside the house, boil a kettle of water, prepare a tray, go get a mug. I, I, I. See, what I've learned is that I, would, it, I think it's better to wash, to wash the intestines, the tripe meat, than being on refreshment, refreshment duty. There was a time I was so tired, I just took a, <laughs> a, a dish, filled it with glasses, and then I took a five liter uh, bucket, filled it with juice, then I took two plates of cakes and I stashed them. I made a pile of scones on those two plates. Then I put them at the center of the table with the ladies that were helping us peel the vegetables. And then I say, please help yourselves. <laughs> because this thing of one by one, observing one person as they arrive, I it's a lot. I it's a lot, queens and kings. So I at this corner, you're going to pick up one blue and one white. Set your needle under the loop. So being on refreshment duty, I know. That's why That's why at the beginning I did say, but I, I wish there was a way of stopping this um, practice. But at the same time, it's necessary because it's just 
it, it's important to show the people that come to help you as the family appreciation. So this is the least we can do as the family to show them that, listen, we really appreciate everyone who came, who took the time, because there are ladies here who left their households. They should, they're supposed to be cooking for their family at this time. You know, they should be sitting with their kids, catching up with their kids. Some other, other ladies, they, they came straight from work and they just came directly here. So just to, it's a small token of appreciation to show them that we appreciate everyone for taking the time to come and help us as the family. Because honestly, we need their help. We need their help. Grating carrots, grating uh, 6 kg of carrots is no child's play. <laughs> it is no child's play. And there were three... There were four ladies. Yeah, there were four ladies in our family who could do the cooking, you know. So we really needed the assistance. We really needed the assistance. So here at the center, Queens and Kings, now this is when you have two orange beads at the center. That's when you know that now you have to close your diamond. So this is half of your diamond. Now we're going to close your diamond. So the lines, the blue lines, they should now be moving towards the inside of your pattern. So you're going to pick up one blue bead. And one white. One blue and one white. Then you pick up one blue bead. So now our goal is to close our diamond. So we're going to move towards the center of our diamond. Now, this is our one white bead. And here at the center, our orange orange tri diamond we're only going to put one orange bead then you pick up one white bead and one blue bead One white bead and one blue bead. So now, remember at the beginning we closed off our um, the orange on the side. Now we're going to start introducing the orange. So you're going to pick up one orange bead and one blue bead one orange one blue so this is us introducing the orange on the outside so remember our blue lines they have to move towards the center ne? because now we're working on closing the diamond at the center pick up one blue bead You pick up one white bead pick up a blue bead then you pick up one white bead Then you pick up one blue bead. No? Okay, so I've added my blue bead. So now in the side, we're going to introduce the orange. So you're going to pick up one orange and one blue. Insert your needle under the loop. 
and then into the needle. And then you're going to pick up a white bead Then you're going to pick up your blue bead. So now we're working on closing the diamond at the center. Ne? Then you're going to pick up another white bead. So this is our diamond, our white diamond. Then on the side, you pick up another blue bead. And then white bead. White bead. Then you pick up your blue bead. Then you pick up your orange. Then you pick up your orange bead. Né? <laughs> okay, so now we have the corner. You are turning. Remember, our main goal currently is to close our diamond. Né? So, and also to introduce the orange on the side. So now you're going to pick up two orange beads. And then you pick up your blue bead. Then you pick up your white bead. Then you pick up your blue bead. Then you pick up another blue bead. Then you pick up your white bead. And blue. And orange. Then orange. So now we're going to finally uh, close our diamond at the center. Ne? So you're going to pick up your two orange beads. And then you pick up your blue bead then you pick up your white bead then you pick up your blue bead So I don't know if you notice, queens and kings, that we have completed our first diamond for this, for the earring that we're currently doing. As you can see, the blue border outside our white diamond has closed here at the top in this bead. Né? 
So we've completed our first diamond. So now you're going to pick up blue. And then you pick up orange. Then you pick up another orange. So after this, after doing this, ne? so at this point, now your aim will be to taking your blue to the sides. Remember, at first you were closing the blue. Your blue was facing the center. So now it's going to be you're working towards the outside. Ne? So this part and this part is exactly the same on how you move, on how you continue to move, adding your other diamonds. So what I'm going to do, Queens and Kings, is to add a timestamp of this video to show that if you maybe you might need to go back a bit and just to see how to go about, you can just rewind the video to that timestamp that will show you how to continue from this point and to start another diamond. Ne? So for this pattern, we're going to do two more diamonds. So I'm going to do this part off camera and then when i come back we'll just be doing uh we'll, we'll be at that at this point ne? we'll be doing this half diamond and closing off our earring so i'll see you on the next part so you've pushed until you got to this point so you have three full um diamonds so now we're going to change our strategy okay so let me explain. This part is the same as this part. The only difference is that you did not add an orange bead at this point. Ne? So it's exactly the same. Okay, not exactly, but yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to start working on, on the next row. So you're going to pick up two orange beads. So for this row, the entire row, you're just going to add your orange beads for the rest of the row ne? just so to break the pattern so we've done doing the pattern now we're just going to focus on closing off our earring so you're going to keep adding your orange beads using the same technique whereby you take your needle, you put it under the bridge and into your bead. The same strategy. Under the loop and into the bead. Under the loop and into the bead. And one more time, under the loop and into the bead. Okay, so now we're going to change our strategy. The way that we are going to go by. So now our main point is the top part. So we want to create um, a triangle shape for our earring at the top part. Now. So we're also going to it's still the brick stitch stitch, but the only difference is that you are decreasing the number of beads in your row. Ne? And this brick stitch that we we're doing, we were increasing the number of beads in a row, but here we'll be decreasing. So remember previously we would insert our needle under the first loop. But now we're going to change. You're going to count one, two, and then insert your two beads under the second loop. The second loop. There you go. Then you insert your needle and upwards. There you go. 
and then you keep going so the only difference that you're going to do is here at the corner when you're starting a new row like we did ne? and then it's it is business as usual so the only change occurs at the corner when you're starting a new row so you skip the first the first bridge and you insert your needle under the first the second bridge so that's the difference so you're decreasing the number of beads in your row okay so you're starting a new row now you're going to pick up your two beads and then what do you do you skip the first uh, bridge insert your needle under the first the second bridge as you can see and that's all you do so as you keep working you'll notice that the your pattern will create a triangular shape so you keep adding the same strategy the same 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 strategy Okay, starting a new row, remember the rule, you pick up two beads and you insert your needle under the second bridge, one, two, the second, not the first. See, so as you keep moving, you will see the change in shape of your earring, I almost said necklace, <laughs> of your earring there will be a change and the number of beads in a row will decrease so you pick up arrange beads uh -huh. second row you pick up two beads then insert your needle, skip the first loop and insert your needle under the second loop or bridge. I've, no, I've, I've just realized Guti, the entire video I've been calling it two words. I've been mentioning it as a bridge and also as a loop. So <laughs> please, please, please excuse me. I apologize queens and kings, but you, you get what I mean. You get it. Then you skip the first you insert on the second. Then you insert your needle to the next one. And then the next one. Then skip the first, insert your needle under the second bridge or loop. Then the next one. Okay, so now you'll notice that you at the top you only have two loops, two bridge, ne? So at this point, you're going to change, you're going to create your, 
an area for you to insert your hooks for your earrings. Ne? This top part that we're going to use to insert our earrings. So, what do we do at this point? You start off by picking up two beads. Ne? You skip the first loop, we insert it into the next loop. So your beads will be see, placed side to side and you set your needle into that loop upwards. Ne? So now you've done with your base. Now you're going to create that area for your hook. So I'm just going to pick up five beads. Five orange beads. Five beads, ne? And then you take your needle, you insert it inside that one bead. And pull nicely, ne? And then what you're going to do, you're going to stab your needle in between the beads like this. In between the beads. Ne? And then you pull your thread. And then there's this loop that is created. You insert your needle inside that loop. And then you pull. Ne? You see? Then you keep moving down. So this is how we secure our earring. Just to make sure it doesn't untie. So you're just going to continue with this process. Move down again. Just insert your needle. Create the loop and insert your needle inside the loop. And then you pull. Move down again. Needle in loop. Then I move down. This is just a way of securing. Okay. Then I make another loop at the exact spot where I had made the earring. Now. Okay. And this is how it is. And when you're done, you cut off your thread. Okay. So this is these are the earrings, queens and kings. So now you're going to add your earring hooks, ne? Okay. Okay, so now we're going to add our hooks into the earring, ne? So what I usually like to do is use the jump ring. So I'm going to take my pliers. I have I usually like using these two pliers. This one don't ask me why I got this one. <laughs> I picked it up on the street. Okay, I saw it laying there and I was like, this one is going to work for me. So you're going to take your jump ring and you're going to open your jump ring. Ne? So the tip of if you're going to use your jump ring, you open it like this. You do not open it like this. You open it like this. That's the tip of using a jump ring. So I like using my fingers too. And like this, so it's the opposite direction. Eh? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert my jump ring into that, the, the bead that is pointed, that's on the outside. Going to insert my jump ring there. So, because these beads that I'm currently using, the size are eight knot size, they can accommodate um, this jump ring. But if you're using a beads like your 11 knot beads that are smaller in size, you can use this um, 
hole that we created for our hooks. Then I insert my earring into the jump ring. So now it's time to close. When you close, you do the very same thing. You take the two ends and you bring them together. Just make sure it is nicely secured and well sealed. Okay. So here is our earring. And here is your other earring. So this is a beautiful pattern. Thank you for our requestee. Is it a requestee? <laughs> the person who requested for this earrings. So you you can try with different colors. I also made this pattern. So you can try with different colors. Um, you can also make one with multi colors. You you know, but whatever you do, it's going to be beautiful. This is very very beautiful. Thank you so much for watching Queens and Kings. I love you guys so, so much. Remember to love yourself, respect yourself, honor yourself, and have fun. If you love the, the content that you're seeing, please consider subscribing. If you can, please watch the, ad, the, the adverts. See you on the next video. Bye.